Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I wanted to do something a little bit fun and maybe make your lives a little bit easier. So I have compiled a list of Elf on the Shelf ideas that work for this year. Um, so maybe you can even pull one or two items off this list or maybe you use the whole thing. That is entirely up to you. Obviously every family is different and everybody's situations are different. So if you do Elf on the Shelf, then maybe these ideas will give you a little bit of inspiration for your month coming up because December 1st is literally around the corner. It's next week. That's insane. Um, so I just wanted to provide a little bit of a list and some ideas because this year is totally different. It's a lot harder to um, do some of the, you know, normal elfy ideas that you might see on the internet this year uh, since some people are you know, still in different levels of lockdowns and we're social distancing and everything like that. So um, maybe just a little bit of an easier way to still bring magic to your home, uh, but without as much of the fuss, hopefully. <laughs> as always, things are going to work differently for each family. So if you find something that you love, add it to your elf list. If not, and these aren't for you, then that's okay too. Um, I tried to make them as general as I could, but again, we're all different and we're all in different environments. So it is totally gonna to be up to you whether or not you use any of these on this list. And of course, they are kind of catered to um, our family a little bit because this is probably what I'm gonna do with ours. Before I get started, I just wanted to mention that although I love Elf on the Shelf and I love the magic, I love just adding another element of magic to the holidays, we don't particularly do elf on the shelf the way that most people might do um so we do it a little bit differently we don't have like a traditional elf on the shelf we use like different elves that look a little bit different um and we do kindness elves so ours still do fun i kind of like mashed up elf on the shelf and the idea of kindness elves and i kind of put them together in this lovely little mushy ball because i don't love some of the things the elf on the shelf does like i don't love the idea that the elf is naughty and that the idea that the elf is always watching you and if you're bad they're gonna report back to santa like if you do it that way that's fine this is just for me and and our like parenting philosophy in general that just doesn't align with our values and in what we want to teach our kids so um i thought there's got to be a better way to still participate in this and not have our elf be wrecking things and and things like that. So I came up with this kind of mishmash fun kindness elf that would bring gratitude and kindness and generosity and fun into our holiday. So this list really reflects that. So if this is something that uh, maybe strikes a chord in you, then I think you will probably enjoy this list as well. As always, when I'm done, sharing with you guys what we're doing. Definitely add your own ideas or things you might be doing or have done in past years in the comments below for other people, for me, um, so we can all come up with a list so it can just be a little easier this holiday. I always find it so much easier if I have a list of things my elf is going to do. So instead of being like, oh, I forgot about the elf, I literally just go to my list and be like, okay, we're doing this tonight, check, done. That's what happens. And it makes it a lot easier to maintain the 24 days of elfy antics. All right, so let's get started. I'll share 24 ideas with you guys and you can share some ideas with me down below. Day one is the elf arrival on December 1st. Um, now I always kind of have a tradition with this. We do a North Pole breakfast. We kind of launch the whole month of December. We celebrate it and we just, um, we incorporate our elves into that. So our elves names are Buddy and Kindness because we have a kindness elf named kindness and then we added buddy when grayson uh was a little bit older and could understand everything so um so buddy and kindness come on december 1st and they get their magic they live in our tree until they have their magic and then santa sends their magic on over and they get their magic on the december 1st and they make us a lovely North Pole breakfast. Now you can get so many ideas with North Pole breakfasts and it can be as elaborate or as cheap and like relaxed as you would like. Uh, I'm usually somewhere in the middle because I don't like my kids eating that much sugar first thing in the morning, but it's definitely like a treat thing. So I'll get like special marshmallows and 
maybe like Christmas Rice Krispies and maybe some little powdered donuts and just things like that. You set the table and you make it all fun and um, the elves come celebrate the arrival of this season. <laughs> um, and also our elves fill our advent calendar up. And so the kids wake up to a lovely little tablescape with treats and goodies and the advent calendar is all bulging and full. And it's just a little bit of magic on December 1st. On the 1st, our elves also arrive with an arrival letter. Now you can get so many of these to just print off for free off the internet usually. Um, this is where I will take an opportunity to be like, hey, we're going to spread kindness and cheer this year. Like we're the kindness elves, welcome back, we missed you. Something along that line. You can write it out by hand, you can print it off. There's so many easy ways to do this to make it stress-free but usually I just like outline like hey the season is about um, giving and kindness and serving others and let's find some fun ways together to do that this holiday season and um, the kids just love it all right so these don't have to be in order from here on out except for like if you want to do the kind of welcome that's why that was the first one but elf idea number two is helping hand or helping hand day. There are a lot of really cute ways you can do this. You can just like have your elf with a piece of paper and like trace his little hand and have a little note and be like, it's helping hand day. Um, <laughs> but this is a day where you're just like, hey, it's so usually I try and, and, and give the kids prompts to be generous and be kind. Our elves bring prompts and fun things and they also change positions every day. So they might be in a little bit of a silly place and they'll have a little note that's like, hey, today is helping hand day. Um, so make sure you lend a helping hand to a sibling or a parent or a stranger or a neighbor and it just kind of ignites that little spark for the kids to start looking for opportunities to lend a helping hand. Elf idea number three, my kids love this, hide and seek. Simple, play a game of hide and seek with the elf. They wake up, they don't know where the elf is. You can leave a note being like, we're hiding, come find us. And my kids are older now. They are 10 and six and a half. And they play a serious game of hide and seek. Like those elves better hide so well because they will tear the house apart. And if it's too easy, they will be quite disappointed. So hide and seek, you can repeat as many times and it will always be fun. Just put it in a hard to find spot. It never gets old, ever. The kids love it. So I definitely repeat this one if I need to. It's such an easy one, so easy. Idea number four is to leave a treat or a small gift on a friend's doorstep. Um, I feel like this is still kind of, depending on your area, this might still be doable this season because of, you know, the, it depends on the restrictions you're, you're, that are in your area. But um, usually there's maybe like, maybe you have a cohort family or a family member or a person that is still in your bubble that you can, that would be safe to give a treat to or something. Or you can leave non-food items. Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive at all. Maybe one of your kids' friends that they haven't seen and being able to see and you leave a little notepad and a, and a pencil or something and maybe even like, it can be something simple like some envelopes with a stamp on it and like, yeah, a little notepad and a pencil so they can write a letter to you or something. Just do a little secret Santa fun thing. The kids will come up with some sort of idea. They're great at stuff like that. Um, so for us just to have your elves leave a little prompt to uh, just bring some joy to somebody's day by leaving a little something on their doorstep. Number five is, again, another fun place, like hide them or something, and a little note that says, bring me your favorite book and read it to me, please. Um, that's always a fun one. Sneaky way of making them practice reading. If you have a person that is learning to read still, uh, it's just a really fun way and it's just always great to hear your kids reading aloud and I think they really enjoy reading to their elves. Six is something I personally think is hilarious. It's like the dad joke of the elf season, which is the melted snowman. Uh, you just leave a little note with your elf being like, look, I brought you a snowman. And it's literally a bowl of water with like a carrot in it and some floating pom-pom eyes and maybe a stick for a hand or whatever. And it's the funniest thing. The kids get a crack out of it out of every year and I think they don't remember that I do this almost every year but I think it's so funny and it's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Idea number seven is to leave a kind message 
out of candies or little chocolate chips or something just on a table or a flat surface. Um, that's always a fun one and the kids always enjoy that because they get to read something kind and feel special and also eat whatever you left out. Number eight would be a candy cane hunt. I usually leave a little note being like, we hid seven candy canes or 10 candy canes or 12 candy canes in the kitchen. Can you find them or throughout the house? Sometimes I do throughout the house if I want to make it more challenging depending on your kid's age, but that's always a big hit. Number nine, hot cocoa day. Set up a little hot cocoa bar, get your elves to make little uh, hot cocoa angel, whatever. Kids love hot cocoa and you can never have too many hot cocoa days in the month of December in my opinion. 10 would be leave some sort of little prompt or note um, saying like, hey, let's give back to others or let's give back to the community this year. Can you find, you can put like, can you find three, 10 items in the pantry to donate? Or hey, let's go down to the donation bin and, and put some um, non-perishable goods into the donation bin. And so that's always a really fun one. It gets the kids excited about charity and giving and, um, it's something you would likely do anyway during the holiday season, so it's great as an elf activity. 11, a little prompt to give eight second hugs. Now you can do this in so many cute ways. Get your elf to hug a stuffed teddy bear, have your elf hug itself with a little note somewhere. Um, they say that children and everybody should have eight hugs lasting eight seconds for just basic uh, well-being. So this is always a good one, and you'd be surprised the drastic improvement it leaves on the day. Idea number 12 is to leave a prompt to do something nice for a member of your family. I find when I leave kind of open-ended prompts like that, the kids are so good and they always go above and beyond. They get so excited to help somebody else. They might help each other, they might make somebody's bed for them, they might go shovel the sidewalk for a neighbor, um, but a little prompt can go so far. Um, so just, this is all about encouraging kindness and generosity and uh, seeing what happens. So yeah, 13, make a craft. I always like to like make, cut little bits of paper. It doesn't have to be fancy. Again, make it as fancy or as not fancy as you would like, but make a craft prompt is awesome. You can like leave a pair of scissors with the elf with some cut up bits of paper and be like, let's make a craft. And the kids will be like, oh, that's awesome. It really doesn't have to be fancy to impress kids, I promise. 14, I think it's hilarious to set up little scenes with the elves. My kids love that. Um, so reading to other toys. I like to set out a bunch of other toys and have your elf read to uh, your kid or your kid's toys. 15, if this applies to your family and you guys sit down for a meal, uh, would be to hide your elf in a, a dish cupboard where you get your plates and your dishes for a meal and um, ask the kid, be like, hey, let's set the table for dinner today or breakfast or lunch or whatever meal you are planning to eat together. Um, and that could be just a really fun thing that is, the, it feels like a really fun activity, but it's also an act of kindness for your family and just a, just little tiny prompts, little nuggets of, of implementing generosity into the day. 16 is call someone to tell you that you love them or you're thinking about them or you care about them. I find especially um, with the current climate of things, we're not seeing as many people. There's a lot of lonely people um, and a phone call can go a long way. And we don't really make calls very often. We send texts and we don't really hear people's voices as much and especially this year. So have your children pick somebody and just give them a phone call to say, hi, I was thinking of you, I love you, or I miss you, or um, like, I hope you have a great day. It can be so simple, um, but it, it's a really great prompt that can make everybody feel really wonderful after. 17, bake, of course, bake something, make something. There's so many wonderful treats and you can make this as elaborate or as easy as you would like. 18, a Christmas movie and popcorn. You can do this by setting uh, your elf on the couch with a bag of microwavable popcorn and the remote and a little note being like, let's watch a Christmas movie today. And it can be a really fun activity. Do it however you like, but um, simple, easy to execute, well loved by all. 19, 
elf plays a board game. I like to set out a board game on the table and like have the elf playing or being like, hey, let's play a board game today. So there's a lot of different ways you could do that. Um, if your kid's really not into board games, that's not your thing, you could have the elf playing board game with uh, other toys. Or if your children do enjoy playing board games, then maybe just have the elf bring out a board game and be like, let me watch you play this or something like that. 20. Have your elf encourage your children to create a gratitude list. Um, write down three, six, ten, anything, um, as many as they can think of, uh, things that they are grateful for this holiday season. And maybe just stick it on your fridge or someplace you can see it and just have everybody reflect on that. The simple act of writing down what we're grateful for is really beneficial and can help those things deeply resonate with you and bring them back up. So. Um, always a great one and just a really simple thing to do that has big impact. 21, wrap a gift for someone. I'm sure there's, the kids love wrapping. If you give the kids a chance to like get in there and wrap a gift, it can be so much fun. So wrap a gift. 22, this may be pertains to our family a little more, but 22 is deliver treats because right before Christmas, we make treat tins and we deliver them to um, people who have made an impact in our life that past year, friends, family, um, just somebody we wanna say thank you to and wish well. Now you could do something simple and just bake a little, a little pli plate of treats for a neighbor, anything. Keep it as simple or as elaborate as you want, like always. 23. Have your elf encourage your children to smile and wave at as many people as they can that day. Um, a smile and a wave goes a really long way. There's so many times that people are just walking around through their everyday life and um, they're not noticing their facial features and we're frowning or we're like straight faced and, and having a little smile and a wave can really change the outlook of an entire day. So it's a really simple act of kindness and another just little way to just plant a little seed of um, how something very simple can make a big impact on someone's life in your kids brains. <laughs> 24 again this one really pertains to our family so you can switch this one out if you like but on tw on the 24th on Christmas Eve our elves always leave Christmas pajamas under the Christmas tree because it is a tradition in our family to get new Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve and we open them and we wear them from Christmas Eve until Boxing Day. <laughs> we stay in our pajamas for like two days straight. It's great. Um, but that's something in our family our elves always bring on the 24th. It's like a, here you go, like we're so excited. It's Christmas tomorrow. So um, you can always just implement your own family tradition in this and it will work just as well. But anyway, you guys, please share your own ideas or things you might be doing this year. Or if you have gotten some extra ideas from this, um, or thought of other things, please share them down below. It would be great to hear them. I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope it maybe gave you a little bit of one, um, some ideas to, to do for your own elves. Two, maybe a different way of looking at the elf on the shelf because I know there's a lot of parents that really resent the elf on the shelf. And I think this is a good way to kind of create an elf on the shelf that isn't um, something you loathe. Um, but, if not, then I hope you just enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you tomorrow in my next one. Bye.